Hey folks, what's going on? It's me again, it's CJ. Been a while since we had one of these videos, right? Just sitting on the floor late at night talking. I mean, I do talk a lot in my videos and about a lot of stuff, but um, I guess you know what I mean. You know, something's been on my mind lately, and it's about giving it your energy. There was a video towards the end of Buenos Aires um, where they talk about exactly that. I saw the Maurice comment, the original comment, in um, a Buenos Aires subreddit shortly after Buenos Aires ended. Um, and basically what Ethan said to Mark back then was um, the, the thing that pushed me towards um, actually saying, heck, why not? Why not do this? Maybe maybe it'll be something great, and it turned out to be. Um, but I don't have the video anymore, but I still do still have the audio. So um, this is what he said. Because genuinely, not in a like, oh, you inspire me so much, that not that kind of inspiration, but like seeing how hard you work and seeing how passionate you are about what you're doing and like seeing how much you're willing to give up is extremely inspiring. And I've been thinking a lot about that because I've realized that at this moment my videos that I put up on the Minto Vita are nowhere close where I want them to be, neither editing nor production wise nor anything else really. Um, don't get me wrong, they're fun to make and I do enjoy uh, making content for Minto Vita a lot. Sure it's frustrating sometimes if you have to refilm something because you tripped over your words or you messed a line up or something like that. And yeah, I had days where I've been sitting or standing in front of my camera for an hour trying to get uh, my sentences or sentences in order, stuff like that. Stuff like that happens a lot to me. And um, I do spend a lot of time trying to fix these errors. Um, but I do believe I have to stop doing that, actually. I do believe uh, it's okay to trip up and, you know, just leave these errors in because in the end it'll just be frustrating if you're standing there for an hour trying to say essentially the same sentences over and over again. But as it's my nature I'm drifting off again. Um, the thing I try to put in words at the moment is this phrase, giving it your effort. Usually I am not really faced with stuff like that. Like all this motivational type of shit you find on the internet. Oh yeah, you just have to give it a hundred percent, the grind never stops, all that kind of bullshit. That doesn't really connect with me. I, I don't see any motivation in that. But something about the way that Ethan said this to Mark just, I don't know, hit different, I guess. Um, because I think that the way he meant it was different from all these, oh, you just have to put in the work, you just have to put in the hours. In the end, I think it's not as much about doing your best than it is about doing your best. Even if your best for some days is just stuff that other people can do easily or without problem. Even if your best is just getting out of bed or something. I think as long as you can end the day saying, I did the best I could today. And I didn't over exert myself. I didn't do less than I could have. I just did the best I could. No, I didn't do too much and I didn't do too little, but I think many people have a tendency to do too much because they feel like there's a lot of expectation, expectation put on them. Um, and I think you don't have to do that. I think as long as you can go to sleep and say, I did the best I could um, and I didn't do any more because I know that would be harmful to me, I think then you can be happy with yourself and I think then you can be proud of yourself. Because many people will completely overwork themselves um, trying to get to a point where I guess they get noticed or um, I think the better way to put it would be um, to be enough for other people and I don't think that matters all that much I think you have to be enough for you and that's it and I think that's a very hard lesson to learn and I think it's a lesson you have to learn over and over again yeah, I think that is the important thing, that you, at the end of the day, can be happy with yourself, without comparing yourself to others, without thinking about what others may or may not expect from you. So before this turns into an hour of a video, um, I still have to edit this and put it up on the channel. Um, I think I'll stop. Have a nice day, night, or evening, wherever you are, and stay safe. And I'm not just saying this because of all the fuckton crazy shit that's going on in the world at the moment. 
also saying this because all of the small or big difficulties or battles one might face in their day-to-day -day lives. So, stay safe, and I hope I see you all tomorrow.